cardboard chaos where earnest packaging and signal come together to push the limits to see how far paper can go. It's an exciting day. We're here to discuss a new cardboard chaos. We're here at Ernest Packaging. Let's do this. You see cardboard, boxes, we see a lot of potential. I couldn't have said it better. So when we come up with a challenge or Tim says, hey, let's make drums, it comes to Mike and Jared and they just have to make it happen from scratch. We have no friggin' clue how paper sounds. No one's ever done this before. We worked out the dimensions that we need for our drums. So we just sent it over to the plotter. We're gonna start cutting them out. We'll do this to stack up all those discs that we made, hold them together with the rail, and that'll build our form for the drum. Now I've got this cylinder that I can wrap my single face corrugated around and hopefully keep that nice round shape. Building a cradle that closely matches the radius of the drum. So when I set it in there, I can get epoxy into the flutes without having to get epoxy all over everything else. Brushing the excess off of this and make sure we get this as smooth as possible. Take it over to Master of Maple. Make some drums. Here we are at Masters of Maple just outside of Los Angeles. Today we take Mike's shells and we begin to turn them into drums. So wild. Look at that. Damn. Damn. Feel this. <laughs> if they could all be this light, like, every drum tech would be so pumped. The funniest thing to think, like, this is literally paper. All of this is done by hand. He's taking Mike's precious shells that took so much time for him to build and now putting holes in them and they have to be right on or the drum's not going to work. We have to drill into cardboard. What could go wrong? <laughs> this is cutting bearing edge. So without a bearing edge, you pretty much won't get any sound. So the drum head sits on top of this and this is like a really key part of it because doesn't sit right, it's not perfectly flat, you're gonna have all kinds of issues with like the head not seat, being seated right. This is when it really comes to life. Essentially this is like giving a drum its voice. There we have it. Woo! That is looking scarily like a drum. <laughs> That's so crazy. We're hearing the drum for the first time, the first tom with the first head. Sounds good, yeah. <laughs> she sounds really good. That's crazy. Look at that. What do you think? It's a drum kit. <laughs> the drum. We got it. Complete. <laughs> nice. Dude. Done. We're here at Bomb Shelter Studios. We got Cy, Mike, Jared. We got the drums. Do you know where we are? Do you know who owns the studio? We got Eric. He's our guest drummer today. All right, man. From STP. We have some drums to show you. Have you I heard about the, these things? I heard about okay. them and I'm looking forward to them. Whoa. That's amazing. Yeah. Look yeah. at these hoops. Yeah. Yeah. These hoops are just rocking, man. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be fun. <laughs> Woo! That's so wild. Yeah, they got some good tone to them, man. I can't believe how strong they are. The cardboard, you guys are geniuses, man. Holding up too, Don't man. Up. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Look at these things. <laughs> Dude, Who would have thought, man? Who would have thought? I That's great. It. Tone is there too. You got tone. <laughs> what blows me away still is like, from the top view here because you can see i mean that's when well, the cardboard that's is right, so beautiful right. and, and nothing else is like this great build job man great construction great finish work thank you so much yeah. for playing them yeah, yeah. you're welcome yeah <laughs>